The Elbit Systems of America 5032, also known as the PBS 31 Delta, is arguably the most feature-rich binocular night vision goggle on the market today. I want to do a quick overview, just showing you guys the features of this system, where they come into play, pros and cons, and what you can expect if this is a goggle that works for your application. As we say all the time, night vision is so application driven and you really need to look at a system from the feature set that it has, what you're trying to accomplish, no matter if this is a government LE or commercial purchase, everybody's got different uses, everybody's got different features that are gonna work with what they do. So starting up front, we'll just do a brief run through. The 5032 ships with included integrated daylight filters. These are integrated into the goggle, but are removable. They come with sacrificial lenses on the objective lenses. The goggle is an articulating system, so full range of articulation. And as you can see here, that articulation range is very wide. Also, moving up, up front, the goggle is powered by a single onboard AA battery or the use of an optional proprietary battery pack. One thing to note about this battery pack is it is not included, uh, but can be purchased a la carte. So if that's something that you're interested in, we can uh, definitely provide you information on that. One thing that's really nice about this goggle, you've got your power button, which also doubles as your manual gain adjustment, which manual gain is a huge tool and that's something that we're very big proponents of and also controls your onboard illuminator. The goggle mounts using a standard dovetail mounting system, has integrated IPD stops. So what that means is as you're setting the distance for your eyes, you can set these IPD stops. So when you articulate the goggle up and then back down, these IPD stops stop the pods at the exact distance that you had them set so you don't have to readjust for your eyes. One thing that really sets this goggle apart and why we say this is the most feature rich night vision binocular system on the market is this goggle also has independent pod shutoff. So what that means is as these pods are articulated out from the user's eye, the tube will shut off once it reaches the pass of the, past the point of where these tubes are outside of your direct view. This is a pro for a couple of reasons. One, it eliminates accidental light spill back on the user's eye and it prevents unnecessary damage because when this tube is not in front of your eye, you don't know where it's pointed so you could have accidental light damage if that feature wasn't there. One thing to note and where this goggle really shines is the fact that it has an integrated illuminator, manual gain, and independent pod shutoff. That's something that other systems on the market don't have. You're either sacrificing your onboard illuminator, manual gain, or independent pod shutoff. Moving to the back, you also have integrated bikini covers, included demiss shields, and adjustable diopters. So when you look at this system as a whole, there's really no feature that Elbit hasn't included in here that uh, a user would want. Really things like manual gain, independent pod shutoff are all very nice features to have and come and play in a lot of different environments. And so this is a very nice choice for a lot of different users out there. Looking at tubes, which is the kind of the meat and potatoes of obviously a goggle system. This is a finished good from Elbit. So your tube options are anything that's an Elbit thin filmed mil spec tube. So these are available in both green and white intensifiers. But as we say all the time, new production green tubes, they're just not to the uh, quantity anymore as white phosphor. So pricing really is almost identical. So there's really no reason to go with a green phosphor tube in these systems. But it is important to note that those are still available. These are available with mil spec tubes. So uh, Elbit's commercial tube options are not an option in these. These start with your YH standard mil spec tube, which is a standard 1600 minimum FOM Omni 8 uh, intensifier and goes all the way up to your uh, Elbit's Premier 2376 minimum FOM white phosphor tubes. When you look at this system and you ask what we recommend, we really recommend that 2000 and up benchmark uh, for your FOM on your tubes with these being a thin film tube. Um, so we offer these standard with 2000 minimum FOM thin film white phosphor tubes and 2376 minimum FOM white phosphor tubes, but they are available in other tube grades, which is nice. So if you're a user that is budget conscious and you're trying to hit a budget, but also trying to have a feature rich goggle, you can kind of look at the various tube options and pick what works best for your budget and your application. 
So overall, great goggle, rugged, feature rich. This is the Elbit 5032, also known as the PBS 31 Delta from Elbit Systems of America. Reminder guys, we're always putting out educational night vision content, so feel free to subscribe if that's something that interests you. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. We're happy to answer any night vision questions and help you identify the best system for your needs.